Take Sonia. You do that again and that chair be your common law husband. <laughs> Let me guess, you saw Derek Fisher from the Lakers again last night. How can you tell? Well, you come in and you do do Alvin Ellie, watch out. Oh, just imitate Tonya bouncing around because you saw Derek again last night. Oh, that's three nights in a row. You must be picking up the check. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous because I have a love life. And you have no life, love. <laughs> For your information, I happen to have a date tonight, which is why I'm here. Marion, can I borrow your binoculars? Well, sure. But if she pulls down a shade, do you consider yourself stood up? <laughs> no, it's a real date. I'm taking her to a concert. Yeah, well, I hope this date goes better than your last few dates. Dry streak is so long it's making me thirsty. <laughs> Day tonight too, with your big screen TV. It's like a time. Like, oh, no, yeah, no, no, like no, 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 it's not, okay. not, not, it's not like a time. It's not, not, not. I got a friend coming in. We're gonna hang out tonight, so I can't hang out with you. Oh, oh. would this be one of your homies from New York? <laughs> Why is it that everything that comes out of your mouth sounds like PBS? <laughs> yes, I'm talking about my homie from the Bronx, Tito. <laughs> so, what business is he in? Well, he's in L.A. looking for a new job. Shouldn't have a problem, though. He's done a lot of things. Construction, dog trainer, lab technician, ladies apparel. What, is he working his way through the smart yellow pages? <laughs> no, he's having a problem focusing his talent, so I'm going to help him. Used to be a lot of fun. I hope the years haven't mellowed him out. Tito Gonzalez, Domingo Barrientos is up in the heat. <laughs> Yo, Tito, man, I like oh, you. Oh, any friend of yours is a friend of mine, B. What's up? <laughs> nice to meet you, Tito. Yeah. Now, next time a handshake will do the old trick a hey. <laughs> hey, Hi, I'm Tonya. We talked over the phone. Wait, 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 wait. Marion told me you was fine, but he didn't say how much fine was involved. <laughs> Yo, man, hook a brother up with a stepladder, man. <laughs> oh, I like him. <laughs> so you finally made the move to L.A., huh? Man, I'm out here to break into the music business, bro. I'm gonna be a writer, producer, video director. I haven't quite pinned it down yet. <laughs> well, I'm sure the music industry breathlessly awaits your decision. <laughs> Oh, you got jokes. <laughs> Yo, bro, bro, you see, once I focus, man, nothing can distract me. Damn! Damn, bro, you didn't tell me you was living like that. Tito, Tiffany's not my girlfriend. Yo, man, I hope all this one with the universe stuff hasn't turned you into some kind of fruit cup. <laughs> She's just a kid. I'm 18. That's not jail, babe. <laughs> Marrying a legal guardian. That makes a death bait. <laughs> Got you. She'll be my little sister. <laughs> so what's with all the books, sis? Uh, well, I'm writing a paper for my college music history class on the origins of rap. Mm, mami, mira, you don't need no books when you're looking over here at two of the originators. Me and Mary, and we was out freestyling when Ice Cube was still a puddle of water. <laughs> Should we show how we do it? Hey, come on. Yeah, yeah, yo, 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 Man, that club was jumping last night. I haven't had that much fun since I was back home with the La Pata twins. <laughs> we showed them how to party New York style, baby. No question. Hey, man, and to think, I was worried that you might have changed after you blew up and got all this. Your clinic is fat, man. Thanks, man. And even has your, your vibe, man. It's serene, peaceful. Despite going 0 for 20, 
<laughs> Derek Fisher said he has never been happier and attributes it to the new lady in his life, Tonya Harris. Oh, for 20, brother serving up more donuts than Winchell's. <laughs> yeah, you better let up off Derek, Tonya. I scored as many points as he did, and I was out doing the bank head bounce last yeah. night. <laughs> Are you trying to blame me for his slump? No, no, that's not your fault. Although it's funny how he plays so well at those away games. When he comes home, he throws up enough bricks to build a parking structure. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm dressed as a coincidence. Hey, Max, what was your date last night? Oh, it was a disaster. We ate and then I took her to the Barry Manilow concert. <laughs> that was your mistake, taking her to eat first. <laughs> About midway through Copacabana, I noticed she didn't shave underneath her arms. <laughs> hey, it looked like she had Don King in a headlock. <laughs> but why is it so hard to find a decent woman? Funny, I don't think the good-looking, interesting guys are having any problems. <laughs> the best place to meet women, man, is down at divorce court. They're a little angry, but they already got half of somebody else's money. <laughs> You know what you should do? You should make a list of all the qualities that you're looking for in a woman. That way you can weed out all the undesirables. I don't know. Love is something you want to reduce down to a list, you know? You know, Max, he's right. What you got to do is find somebody who brings out the best in you and vice versa. <laughs> Those are strong words from a woman whose man was tossing up air balls like a circus seal last night. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, actually, that's not a bad idea. I think I'm going to go work on my list. Marion... I've been doing all the exercises you gave me, but they're not helping. My knees are still killing me. <laughs> oh, Miss Lewis, exercises alone aren't enough. Your knees are under tremendous pressure. <laughs> you need to change your whole... Honey, Mira, you're a beautiful woman. Oh. I'm sure you're working very hard. Bottom line is you're fat. No, what Marion is trying to say is you need to be less fat. What? <laughs> See, look, I once had an aunt who used to have a bad knee who used to butter her butter with butter. <laughs> and once she lost her weight, boom, I, her knee was all better. <sighs> Mrs. Lewis, excuse my friend, he's a he's little... He's right. I guess I just needed to hear someone say it. Thank you, son. <laughs> I'm gonna go see a dietitian first thing tomorrow. Now nah, you're talking. Hey, you might want to jog over there. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was great. You know, I've been trying to do that for months now. I think I could use your style around here. Cool. I accept. Accept what? The job. What job? The job you just offered me. Cool. Accept the job. I already accept it. You don't have to beg, brother. <laughs> Oh, and Antonia? They're showing highlights from last night's game. Derek may be on. <laughs> Not if it's highlights. <laughs> Slump. I wouldn't say that. A lot of guys go scoreless for three games. Man, I'm focused. Hey, can I give a shout out to my girl, Tonya? Hey, Tonya. <laughs> <laughs> No, Tonya. You and Derek been staying out late, partying, dancing. You might want to back off for a little while. Why? You think I'm getting too serious? No, I feel sorry for all the Lake fans. I'd like to see them break even this season. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> well, I've put together a list of qualities I need in a woman. Let me guess. Breathing, breathing, and breathing. <laughs> My dream woman will be conservative, feminine, and naturally she'll wear petite sizes and only the best designer clothes. I don't know how to tell you this, Max, but Nancy Reagan's already taken. <laughs> ah, very funny. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go make a reservation at the most exclusive place in town, the Bella Martini Club. Never heard of it. Exactly. <laughs> made some taste to give the place some ambience. Uh, that's nice, but this is a clinic, not Summer Jam 97. I actually like it. It's kind of funky. Well, that it may be, but Mrs. Fox is on the way up, and I'm afraid it affects the doctor-patient relationship when all you can say is, what? I sent Mrs. Fox home already. You did what? Well, she told me she had a little pain in her hip, so I told her to put some ice on it and get some rest. She doesn't have to pay us $300 to hear that, huh? What are we, bandits? Oh, what do you think you're doing? I'm just helping out. After all, that's my job. 
Your job? Your friend, Tito Gonzalez Domingo Barrientos, <laughs> seems to be under the impression that he works here. He does. Since when? I figured we could use an extra hand, so I hired him. Oh, so the guy who lives in the stairway and talks to his hand wasn't available? <laughs> Let me tell you something about Tito. When I was about to quit college because I couldn't afford it, Tito convinced me to try for the football team as a walk-on. Together we made it, and I got a scholarship. Tito played football? Well, I actually quit after the first practice. <laughs> I quit college after the first month, but... Yeah. Oh, I, I see your point. If we wait long enough, he'll quit. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. He was there for me. Tito lacks focus, and working at a regular job might help him. Maybe where you're from, you kick your friends to the curb, but in New York, we look out for hours. Ah, oh, well, great. And he can hold the door open for us at bankruptcy court. But he doesn't belong here. Max, you're overreacting. By the way, Tonya, did you see Derek last night? Yes. Does it show? I don't know about all that, but I'm about to drop a bet on the other team. <laughs> you know, Max, maybe you have a point. Oh, I am not about to cut Tito loose because you don't like him and he insulted your non-basketball playing boyfriend. Hey, yo, bro, where you going? Hey! Hey! I'm sorry, where are you going? Man, you got some sensitive people around here, man. All I told him was that he could take the hair off his back and transplant it to the top of his head. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Sensitive. Who was that guy? It's just the executive vice president of the Mighty Ducks. Oh, then he can afford the surgery. I'm going to go get him. Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> well, the guy did have a hairy back. <laughs> right, I'll fire him. Oh, yeah, Mulatto, what's up, Eddie? What's up, man? Uh-oh, I haven't seen you look this serious since I stole Miss Trostler from you. <laughs> a third-grade teacher? Miss Trostler loved me. Oh, yeah? Then why'd she make you always stand in the corner? Well, she was peeping the calf, man. <laughs> Tito, for real, I need to talk to you about the clinic. Oh, man, thanks again for the hookup, bro. Hey, listen, I'm gonna postpone my music career for my new job as a healthcare professional. Uh, look, Tito, I'm gonna give it to you straight. You can't work at the clinic anymore. Wow, just when I was gonna talk to you about my salary, I don't have one. <laughs> Sorry, but you're costing us money, man. So, you can't afford me. I know what it is, bro. You got client relation problems, man. You got people walking out of that door left and right, man. You gotta fix that. The game on the line. Shaq goes up for the rebound, grabs it with both hands, turns while in the air, throws it out to Van Exel. Come on, Van Exel. Pass that ball to my baby, you bullethead. Van Exel dribbles it into the front court. He's double teamed. He's in trouble. He leaps in the air. He throws a high alley-oop pass toward the rim. Derek Fisher is there. Derek didn't jump high enough. He couldn't jump over a cockroach. He's got to stop seeing that girl. You people need to stop calling here. Derek Fisher's slump is not my fault. And I'm tired of explaining that to you and every other basketball expert wannabe that walks through the door. Oh, Whatever brings you here? Well, Derek Fisher. I mean, he's not been playing very well lately. And I thought maybe it might help if you'd give him a couple of nights off. What are you trying to imply? That there's some connection? That I'm taking the alley out of his oop? <laughs> oh, it's not that. It's just that, uh, you know, he's hung up on you. And uh, I thought maybe... Uh, Quiet night or two might uh, do him some good? Mm-mm. No can do, honey. I ain't giving up on my baby. If loving him is wrong, I don't want to be right. Well, it was worth a shot. I guess I'll just have to leave him on the bench until he gets over this slump. Bench my Derek? Okay, look. I'll stop seeing him tonight, and I won't see him tomorrow. But you're going to see it's not going to make a difference. Tonya Harris is not the problem. Listen. This is great. I really appreciate it. I need all the help I can get. And you know, us Harris has got to stick together. <laughs> By the way, would you consider dating one of the Chicago Bulls? <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, coach! Wah! What do I got to do to get free tickets to a game, man? Eh? Uh, maybe throw a bag of peanuts 20 feet? Oh, you got jokes too, huh? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry I'm late, but if we're going to turn this clinic around, we're going to have to get to work. <laughs> Mary. Are you going to wait until this place goes belly up before you fire him? I did fire him, I think. <sighs> hey, Tito, did you forget about our little talk we had yesterday, man? Of course not, man. But I know you can't pay me, and that's cool. I work free for you forever. But I don't want you to work for free. That's why I'm volunteering. <laughs> but it's not about the money. Exactly. That's what I've been trying to tell you, B. 
I'll talk to you at lunch, all right? 